For the first time, Greater Victoria has an idea of how much money is being generated by arts and culture in the region. A study released today shows some impressive numbers. Now artists are hoping the findings will help them get their due. Kylie Stanton reports. Hours spent rehearsing lifts, perfecting turns, and taking it from the top. Okay, so if we can go to, uh, to places, Sweat and pain, that's all in the name of art. We start um, at 9 o'clock every morning and then we go until 4 and uh, we work uh, Monday to Friday. A full-time job that's paying off outside these studio walls. $170 million of economic activity. A new study confirms Greater Victoria's arts and culture sector generated $170 million last year, with $126 million staying in the region, a reflection of the scene and its reach. You know, it is a lot of money, but um, and it, it surprised me at first, but when you look at how many different individual artists, arts businesses and arts organizations there are, there's a lot of activity going on here. You know, everyone is in their own little world and, um, you know, focusing on their own bits and pieces but um, there's a lot happening out there. From a small pottery studio where clay is molded to large-scale productions at the Belfry. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Spending is involved. Whoa, that's hard. But it's the spillover before and after events like this that's really adding up. When the Belfry's in, it's basically it's a guaranteed fill. Situated across the street from the theater, the Fernwood Inn relies heavily on the traffic. It generates up to 20% of their annual revenue, a common trend for business in the area. The coffee shop and stage restaurant across the road. Um, so it, it doesn't just bring money and business to us, but it helps out the whole of Fernwood Square. It's this neighborhood's share of the 170 million, a number that could play an important role for future funding. I think you know the arts organizations, uh, particularly the ones that are lobbying for, for funding, will look at be able to use these numbers and say, look, well, no, you know, here's the return. You know, it, it's time to support the arts more. Just to recognize that if you're giving a donation to the arts, you're truly helping our economy and the well-being of our community. It comes as no surprise to the artists, but having concrete evidence gives them a leg to stand on.